Okay, so I'm Roger Mills, and I'm here uh, with Jerry Guyton, which is one of the owners of CG&J, and of course locally known as Bryce Thomas Radiator. Uh, CG&J, uh, make sure I don't mess this up, was uh, actually a very old business, family-owned business, been in the radiator business and heat exchange business since, what, 20, 30 years ago? Well, since 1956. 1956. And they do everything from uh, a, a small Yugo radiator to industrial tanks, trains, you name it type of radiators, and that's handmade. And we're gonna be talking to you today uh, with Jerry about the process after someone has called or emailed specs in to y'all if it's a custom or a replacement unit uh, that has come to you again via email or by a phone call uh, with a website. Once y'all have gotten those specs, mm -hmm. what happens at that point? Roger, once we've got the specs, the, uh, the parts are punched out, handmade, built, brought to us up here in the welding department. We assemble everything off of the blueprints, the drawings, and then once we get everything put together, we bring it back here to our pressure test station. Where we are now, and that's right. really behind us. Right. Tell me about, about this part, what, what happens behind us. What happens behind us is, once the parts assemble, we want to make 100% sure that there is absolutely no leaks in that product before we send it out the door. So, Kerry takes each piece by hand, dips it down in water and puts air pressure on it. Uh, okay. Depending on whether it's a small radiator with, with very light pressure or an industrial oil cooler that's got two or three hundred pounds of pressure on it. Then we take the thing, make sure it's good. If there is any problem, it goes back to welding, gets repaired, brought back, and then Kerry will test it. And once it's tested and put that stamp of approval on it, then we take it over here, dry it off, get it ready to paint, box, and ship. Now in the paint booth, I noticed I was seeing some earlier come through there. Uh, it, it almost looks like a custom car job. I mean, it's not a secondary deal. It is, uh, you've got guys that seem to know what they really are doing back there. Well, yeah, they have to do it because we want everything to go out of here. That, that it, this is a professional. That's what we want it to look like. And it's a paint booth, just like you would paint a car in. It's, you know, the back draft whole nine yards. So right, right. Once it goes out of here, it's got to be just right. Now, when, as far as the shipping process goes, which is over our right shoulder, uh, and we'll show some of that here in a little bit, but it, it's a pretty unique process too. Um, I know that y'all ship some very small things to some very large things. We do. Um, what are some of the larger products that y'all shipped out? Well, Roger, we have shipped out, um, we've shipped out train radiators that we've built. We've wow. shipped out, uh, I just went blank. Well, I know that well, it's okay. We have uh, actually talked about this piece here earlier. I mean, that. what type of vehicle would that go in? Well, that's not a vehicle. That goes on an industrial piece of equipment somewhere in either a coal mine, oil field, something like that, or, or uh -huh. it could even be on a big piece of a Komatsu equipment, you know, the kind that you can walk underneath that, that are huge. Right. So. I know that I talked to uh, one of your business partners earlier about uh, some cooling systems that y'all are going to put into a, uh, a business, uh, an industrial air conditioning system uh -huh. uh, that was incredibly large. Yes. Uh, and some of that being, and just Eric, so you know, line one, uh, Eric, line which is one. Eric that we're hearing, uh, like brass and copper, yeah. not just aluminum, yeah. and the different type of coolings with the oil or air, uh -huh. uh, things of that nature. Uh, but you're going to see that this is a huge plant uh, where they do manufacture, of course, all types of heat exchange units. And you're going to be guaranteed uh, great satisfaction with the fact that they test everything they do. They paint it professionally. I mean, there, there's, there's not really anything that y'all don't have your own thumbs on mm. as business owners. No. We, which is we, unusual. Well, you know, we, we started without getting our hands dirty, and we still do today. It's the only Absolutely. way the business works. Yes. So if you're looking for something first class in the heat exchange unit, uh, whether it is for your car, whether it is for an antique or a truck, mm -hmm. whether it is for a big and large industrial product, you can always look up CG&J. They're on the internet. You can find their blogs there. You can find their videos there. Uh, just anything you can imagine that you'd want to know about heat transfer, you're going to get it. Or you can call them, of course, and ask them. 
Um, so thank you so much, Jerry, for being with us today. Well, thank you, Roger. Uh, you take the time out of your busy. So thanks for that. Okay. Thank and, you. And uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And please uh, stay tuned. You'll see more videos coming out about their business. Thank you. <laughs>